So we don't agree on several pricing formulas and prices with all we major importers them and the one the way they manufacture on certain commodities. So we they make them price then they available. We they tell people that who side for go for go get them. Those public notices will be going out pretty soon. Secondly, we also they say to people them that no panic buy. For rest, we get enough rest stay past October. For vegetable oil, we get enough oil. For yabas, we get enough yabas. Even sugar price don't can down. They want to always be the one for sugar. Sugar don't can down. the program today we get the acting chief director and administrator of trade emmanuel Konjo. we therefore talk about the system where the ministry don't put in place for reduced price panting them where people they buy once more mr Konjo, well, good morning welcome to the program morning thank you yes and the ministry of trade they in charge for cc the thing them where people they buy especially essential commodity them available now the market and with the price where people go able afford but with this COVID-19, how the Minister of Trade don't they manage the situation? Mr. Emmanuel Conjo, they are not the program for talk on them. Family in the morning again. Yes, um, as we tell listeners, the mandate of the Minister of Trade for ensure say, things them way people they buy essential commodities them available in the market, not so only then they are the market, but let people able buy them. During this COVID-19, how we don't tell like from a perspective in the Minister of Trade? Well, um, I think if us, we for begin for know why people and they trade and how we they trade. You they do trading because you not get all thing and you need something where other person gets. And as a country, we know they buy ourselves with the work inside a global system, a regional system, and a national system. So trade, they take place globally, they take place regionally, and they take place nationally, domestically, as the case may be. So during the COVID term, where COVID come, we see say COVID now a global pandemic where it affects the entire world. And what in that they mean to say, it means to say it restricts people and movements, it restricts economic activities, and in some instances and in some parts then of the world, it really ground economic activity them. So most of we on thing the way we they use now this country now import we they import them. Meaning to say, we'll get for look other side for bring and come in na salon. And if other person we been done, they use for give to you or sell to you, not get for sell to you. It means to say the supply low and the demand high. And once that they happen, it they affect the price. So like all sign or all economists go tell you say price, they be regulated by demand and supply. So supply constraints them been there all over the world. And then supply constraints are way been there now because one, people not be able for engage in productive activity, the major producers of the world. Number two, people are not be able for move goods across. So ultimately, the small way you get, you get for manager, you get for rationam, and you get for utilize them in an effective and judicious manner. So as governments, we be don't get experience from Ebola. So that when you get an epidemic or a pandemic, it is not only a health issue, but it is also an economic and a social issue. So government puts together what we call the Quick Economic Response Program. Inside that one day, we've been get six pillars. Two of them pillar then they, the Ministry of Trade been the lead. One, na commodity, the commodity pillar. The commodity pillar been simply say, well, this problem don't come. We know we own situation as alone. How we go and just say we get enough goods there inside the country 
we get reserve with stock levels there okay and then we're able to maintain the price so thankfully as you now all know say inside salon one day we're not to line for fuel one day we're not to line for rest we're not to line for your bus we're not to line for any of the essential products them because of covid we be able for do we assessment quickly and we do lengthy projections and put certain measures there in place for ensure say we get all of them produce here in country and affordable to we people them all right as you rightly say um when i'm in the work for cc um when i maintain price in the country but um the issue of price in a salon the fluctuation na plenty um, thing where people concerned about mm -hmm. because you go buy this today tomorrow na, na, na another price mm -hmm. so how the ministry don't they work towards that so one of the law we understand or then fabul understand waiting they make the affect price i be don't mention say demand and supply if the thing we we want is small then boku pos in one time the one way they sell like this the price and globally the waiting we they use for buy now we to call foreign exchange in most cases united states dollars we in Sierra Leone know they use dollar we know they make dollar now Leons we get. So you Leons get for be converted into dollars for let you able for buy. So example, if I go buy last week, I put in another, where the thing have been $10. Then say I put me transport cost, I put all things, say reach me na $12. I cable for sell and for $13. But this week, if I go for go buy, over day, then tell me say na $15. I still put me transport, I still put me me small thing where they put pant up, the price go don't go up. So foreign exchange differentiation a big thing where they affect price. So what thing we do? Government quickly establish a fund together with Bank of Ireland and Ministry of Finance and Ministry of Trade. We have five hundred billion for make readily available foreign exchange to we business people them at an interest rate of seven percent. And may I also say that if you look comparatively in the region, now we've been get the most favorable rates. You know, we can check Ghana, we can check other side them. So people being able to get access to money, for able for buy and stock up so that shortage no go there. So the tell way you've been the use for one run around for ten dollar, government make it available for you. Government make sure so you get money for able for do business. So now some of the things then they want and they will do, but I'll go talk more about it. You First of all, mention the quick economic response program with the Ministry of Finance together with partners, them, including the Ministry of Trade, mm -hmm. being implemented because of COVID-19. We still there in the COVID period. Mm -hmm. This program still there in force. Yes, the program still there in force. So the program there in various stages. So that 10 day we've been really the look at we major importers and how we go bring certain products and come inside. So you can see, see even now February, yeah. We pass now we increase fuel price even we all man be don't increase fuel price because we be don't put in measures for stabilized prices and that one day in a government and the ministry of trade we own role for stabilized prices them but what you know happened in the past few weeks and months now that freight charges freight costs then don't increase significantly what in a freight charge freight charge now work where you go look for empty container the container for let you get and for put your goods, you get for buy that container there. And that container, they know to you own them. It will be owned by a shipping line where you get for fen. So then charges, then they, they don't increase by over 300%. So for example, 40 foot container, a month and a half ago, we been they pay $3,000 for. Today, you pay over $9,000 for them. And two, you know, even available, it act for gets. Even when you get them, you need not to touch you the total for car, not to so. You need ship for bring and come. We have had a reduction in the number of sea vessels where they ply the world trade routes them. What in that cause that one day? Two things. One, we all they talk about climate change, global emission charges they don't increase. All most 50% of them ship then they, they emit CO2. 
And most countries, you know, they grill it, you pass now the water or pass now the road where you emit that one day, then they charge you very, very high. What do they mean? CO2. If CO2 na carbon monoxide. It they affect the atmosphere, it they make the place warm and it they unbog climates. Now, they change now the you, you, you mentioned a particular amount we government been put together inside this quick economic response program. Yes. And you they talk about prices here. Prices them high. Than anybody can tell you. But somebody will say this money for them be redirected to effort of production locally for CC. This issue of freight charge and other charges, the more they see, so we they lead to somehow price, then they go up, then go, it will be solved. So, most are done at the second stage of the program where they roll out. So, even before COVID, government in attention at that we for look inward. So, we get a program as a government where they look, say, what thing we do, do for increase with industrial base, with manufacturing base, and with productive capacity. So if you look at the medium-term development plan, Pillar 2, they talk about diversification, and Pillar 3, they talk about international and economic competitiveness. How we as a country for be competitive? If you have been given news the way in a CC Salon, is rated as one of the best countries in cocoa production right now, organic production, quality production. So we competitive edge in that sector, they do improve. But in the midst of it, COVID come. You know, there run several stories now yeah, of the massive capital injection. Even you headline this morning, they talk about waiting agriculture they do. But most of the way you plant today, not to this evening tell you the eater. And if rest not there this morning, tomorrow you want it, no problem. So as government, we have a social and a moral responsibility for ensure say we people their livelihoods not be challenged at any given point in time. So now I make we call a quick economic response program. Quick action economic response program. Now quick thing for do. Because we were all caught up by COVID. Not to say that way we plan. No. In the midst of we planning, COVID come. But what do we for do? How we for address them? Those are the things that we do. But in the next two to three years, you would see the yield and the dividend of waiting government by extension Ministry of Agriculture, Ministry of Trade, and Ministry of Finance don't put in place. For let we productive capacity increase. We the see in the commodity sector, but we go see in other produces or in other value chains. All right. Now, um, Mr. Conjo, the issue of price in a salon, especially the um, staple food we salon um, and they use every day when I rest. Um, firstly, how on do the monitor for CC the actual price we maybe um owner with the CTC don't meet up for let people in the sell price on a make sure see people um, go according to their price. How not only monitor the market? Okay, so CTC, Commodity Trading Company, is one of the uh, leading importer and but a Agodila company as well. But other people themselves, they do. So what do we do? We understand the dynamics of the market globally. Uh, Musa and Usman, last year, nobody no plant. Vietnam were the second producer of rice, exporter of rice. They were caught up not only by COVID, but then we get typhoon in Southeast Asia. We wipe out all land crop today, then they import. China, now they no more the imports. India get plenty of rice, but they say they no go export because they want to keep for them people there. They don't know what they happen. Myanmar, we, are, we know the political crisis where they did. Brazil, when I've been an other major exporter of commodity like rice, Brazil no plant. In fact, rest not available. We know they get none from Brazil. So you are constrained for go look other side and other places them. And then people and they be don't get their own traditional customer them. So we able for understand all that dynamics there. But like I they tell you about the freight charges. In the past month, eh, the ton of rice has been $35. One ton has been $35. Today, it's $90. Because of the global challenge the way we get. So then they don't affect by it. But because we've been done stock up long before, we are able to stabilize price. So now I make even a one for let people and take a comparative advantage of what's in the region. Liberia today, 
if you want to buy 25 kilogram bag, then at 25, half of your bag, at $26 for them. So if you put them together, say you want to make 150 kilogram bag. And even Liberia, then government been trying for cap price per rest. Waiting happen, nobody not import rest. Rest not in Liberia. Now we now the help we brought them for let them get rest. So that's not the situation. Okay. You mentioned, say, CTC in one of our partners them in this uh, quick economic response program and an agro dealer coming in. You mentioned the challenge also we the country face for get rest from the traditional uh, people and we grow the rest. But also talking about three years before people begin to see the dividends of the quick economic response program, the rest way um not the staple food maybe can or sometimes can just take six months or three months for make sure say from the time we plant and to um harvest. Why it get for take three years before people begin to realize dividends in areas like this? Okay, so let me correct the fact. I don't say the quick economic response program will take three years. No, the, you no. say maybe the, the agro aspect of farm, the production so, aspect of farm, in three years people will begin to realize. No. What I say is that prior to COVID, government has instituted a program of, with, of which rice is a key value chain for the Ministry of Agriculture and the government as a whole. And I said to you and to the general public that we don't institute major agricultural projects. This is not to you small commercialization. No. This is a massive industrial project. We know it in the happen at the north. We open, know it in the happen at the Tomabom project and all. And I say, you know the plant rest today, this morning, you eat an even term. If you are mechanizing, it takes a lot of things. And for able for get to economies of scale, for able to get to the level where we need all the rest, not to say we need the plant rest. So. The rest, the way we don't the plant, we need to retain in a salon. We did, some of them, they go across the border to other countries there. We nine people, they want people and they sell. Fine, a trade. But until we are able to get to economies of scale, able to get large quantity, we go able to meet the demand of the local market, it will take time. And that at the tell you say in the next two to three years we go able for begin to say we get to that level. All right, continue for the with me inside the program in name na Emmanuel Conjo, in the acting chief um, director na the Ministry of Trade and Industry. Well, for ma'am, we go look at another issue inside the program. The Ministry of Agriculture and Forestry don't support the Agro Health Africa with two billion loans for implement the onions production project na Bomsama and inside Karine district and other parts there in Afalaba. And this project, according to the onions farmer them from them to this here, then say this project will help them for produce more bass past how they know me the do over the past year. Princess Spears gets more and go now report. <laughs> Now some people them from Bomsama inside Karine this day. But they welcome people who come out from the Ministry of Agriculture and Forestry and serve the Agro Health Africa. When they will launch the onions production project, we will benefit onions farmer them now Bomsama inside Karine this state and Beria Timbako na Falaba this state. Onions, we plenty people can call your bass. Now one way government only spend plenty couple. For Pulam Komotola country comes alone. And this project, according to the project manager for the onions production project, we say we so now the chief executive officer for the Agro Health Africa, where this company don't work Paris, con and Yabas business na the country. Solomon Seba na Kamara say this project will help reduce the way our government they spend plenty of for import Yabas come na the country. This project is the best, one of the best initiatives we, we, the government undertakes so far. Because onions, as an ingredient, that's second only to pepper. And onions, government has spent millions and millions of millions for bringing in onions in this country. We they eat a lot of onions. But the, the, oh, the way the plant is so small, the gap so big, that gap the past government spent for an exchange we will need for promote education, we need to promote uh, other social services. 
Now we we'll, we'll put some pan food and the, and this thing onions we will plant in this country. We want to make the country self sufficient. And if we don't be self sufficient, what will we do? We we'll export. So this is going to be a million dollar business, export business. Now we we'll start so. We we'll start and now and be. But waiting at the cost of this project, Solomon Sebana Kamala again. The basic elements of the projects about. Two billion. This pilot. This is a pilot phase. We they can begin to do five hectares as demonstration plot. They will do uh, uh, ten hectares for the farmers. We get a pilot project where they last for two years for now. We they begin now. This cycle, it they done around uh, July. Then October will start another cycle. That 2021 cycle, 2021, 2022 cycle. Then government is up. We need an opportunity. As a government don't give this opportunity. So we go show competence. And commitment. Where they launch this project, the head of horticulture units at the Ministry of Agriculture and Forestry, Fatma Tamagai, been talking about some of the benefits them where this project gets. This year, about business and presidential initiatives. Residents in hat they for this year, about business. When you see, we they put all this effort, all the efforts that we will make. Now, because and one see how we they produce this yabat for reduce the yabats where we they import from other countries for government travel. In this of agriculture, we are aware, say, the country is a developing country. I make we want to bring other projects then, like one of them, like this yabat project, where we will increase the livelihood of the people. The yabats where we they go not alone, then they call it Lunge Yabat. Isata Kamanda, na plant breeder and research scientist, na the Salon Agricultural Research Institute Slari, inside him talk to the farmer them, they encourage the farmer them for all these projects with to earn, and self say they want for see more woman them than farm business na the country. For me, me philosophy be the farmers there na me passion. Una go benefit waiting past your back if una do well for this. I beg una for God. Do ya? Una make this project a success. Una be the write the paper for this onion. I don't even no say una go benefit. I no say no more salon farmers there. They like for better if they the plant your back. So do ya? I want for beg una. Do ya? Una, una make this project more we want to see. If we don't do well, we pull out our can go other side. We want to let the woman they come before pan farming. We want to let the woman they better in agriculture, not to the man they no more. Because we now we they cook na us, now we they pay school fees, now we they get picking up hospital. So if we better for agriculture, the family and the community don't better. I've been talking to some pan onions farmer them from Karina in Falaba district. But waiting and make up of this project, and then we get this for same. Me, I mean, name Khadija Feremusu Samura, Falaba District. I do only your family from women are picking. Well, I think say a good initiative anyway, because that one of the things that is will be the wish from all we are from all we small like me. I meet my mama the plant onions. I guess yes, my mama the plant onions. But it really is strengthful. Like what we the plant onions, we they do and labor, like some ten and they will, we not can get even other they make for we hip. You know, sometimes they don't know what they do and for ourselves on we own. For the poor farmers, them, for the men they will stand on the own. I've been so happy. I don't know how to express myself. Me and Akadia to PCC. And we're glad the whole this project can learn about who experience what you will not be know before. Because one day we'll not be I come across this Yavas program. But through Ministry of Agriculture, then bring this program to we. So we glad for this program 100 percent and we the tie we urge for let this program succeed, let it not come on. Then farmer they end up calling on government for give more support to farmer them, for make they able make big farm them 
we go do for support the country with your bass and other produce them. For Radio Democracy, Princess Pierce, the reports. The program is still listening to so a good morning salon where they can see you from 98.1 FM. We still get the acting chief director and the minister of trade and industry, Emmanuel <coughs> Konjo. They talk about plans and with the minister of um, trade on put in place for CC, then um, make things them where people need in the market available and at a price we then be able to afford. Mr. Konjo, then they talk about different things and means the program. But when you talk about trade in a salon, one thing where they come to mind quickly na price control. Would that the fixed price? Would that the regulator? Okay, so now the market they regulate price, the ah. market forces. So we run a free market economy. When I demand and supply, they fix the price. Now they regulate the price. What we can do is to ensure that we have price stabilization. So there are controls that you can put from a monetary point of view, when a Bank of Sierra Leone, or from a fiscal point of view, when a Ministry of Finance tax. Or where we in the Ministry of Trade can do through several trade um, um, regulations them and protocols. So for understand so we stabilize the price. So for example, if I find out say this product where you they bring come, where you don't put you don't buy, you don't put your transport cost stay rich, you they put too much param compared to which the other person they sell, we will call you to book. We we'll say no 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 no, this is it. Not so for do am, not so for do. Not that we they impose them on you, but we they tell you say we are aware. Because you for no say businessman want for maximize profit at the shortest possible time. So we they able for monitor them price then they so we get price in formulas that we've instituted, we they look at the market trends, we they understand the trade flows, so we able for deduce waiting if for cost we at the or the end user at the end of the day. Even domestically, we get what we call we trade monitor them. Where they monitor the situation. Example, I mean, you go buy something, you buy bundled water, where the producer, where they pay electricity, if they pay production cost, if they pay labor, if they pay rent, all, if they sell unto you as a wholesale price of 40,000, 24 um, um, bottled water, then you will put an treat, when they pay lights, you need to pay city rates, you need to pay nothing, you need to pay rent, you automatically raise them to 65,000. Then in a profiteering, a wrong. So what one I can do regarding situations like this? Because um, prices in a salon are one way, you can buy to the 10,000, we go to more 20,000. Yes, so with the monitor and with the follow through and understand what's in the cost that price differentiation day. So sometimes in, day, in economics, we call it speculation. So man goes, you don't know more. say, hey, well, right now, pray they come. Hey, let go buy, buy one to ya. Let go buy, buy one to ya. So that rush day, hmm? they create a huge demand. And sometimes at that particular or that material point in time, they, they supply low. So now the price, if they're willing to pay a little bit more, say, let get them. Do you have no go day? So when I make we the as Ministry of Trade, always they come for assure the public of the availability of commodities, outside and can fend them, and waiting at the prices for them. So this is now a constant engagement where we they do and we will continue for do. So people go know. Then some people and they will they call them out. If you're not an agent or a dealer, where we know say this person don't supply to you at this price. A wholesale price, you can retail them at this price, but we'll find out so you they increase them. We we'll go advise the public say no go there. Or if the product where you they keep, we we'll not say you don't pass in expiry date, we we'll don't go pull you there, we we'll don't warn you, with we'll the Lord all you. We we'll will tell people say no go buy another shop there. So we are taking more of the trade information out there to the public so then go understand because most of the times now advantage we self serve the seas by we people them. Really and truly, how does dollar affect pepper? Because, because now that's what bring me to the question. Say how um, any law day we um, for old people we can buy with us, don't buy them safe and it's price. Yes, we get regulations there. So when I don't enforce the law, then they over. Abs absolutely, we are. Okay. So the the, the, the issue of um, 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 Pepe in general, mm -hmm. way you mentioned just mm -hmm. now, we see during the Corona, the first lockdown, we see Pepe go up to even seven thousand. 
for COP. Now, then people there, when I monitor them, we can go out there for monitoring people there. You know, waiting don't be the, 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 the major role in this, in terms of for the people with this paper, you no know, say, even though, yes, people they go in a rush, but still, then for sell at a normal price. Well, we continue for engage and talk to people them. Because one, you go understand, say, like that send the lockdown, they like I say, speculation rush come, you go affect price. Pepe seasonal. We all get for understand the seasonal variation. So now I make we they look at alternative crops then. Now. So they tell we pepper they don't what you can do. The road side pepper they come out. After the rains, it is bad. Or during the rains, the rain, the road is bad. So it affects the flow of, of, of pepper for calm down. So how do we increase hmm, the productivity level of pepper? One. Two, how do we process it and preserve it for a longer period of time? So part of the other program where we get at the ministry under the World Bank, now the Silent Agribusiness Competitiveness Project. So we get people there where we don't, where we don't, where we support now, where they take paper and process them. And then they mix it there with various paper we will get with other kinds in there where they preserve them for a longer period of time. So if you, you know to go buy the paper now, you worry, say, a rotting. With the package and properly, you get them. So you can able to use them for a, over a period of time. With all that one, then are measures for create that price stabilization. All right. The, the issue of um, weight, um, for example, mm -hmm. rest, people on the risk concern, say, at times you buy rest, um, rest supposed to mm -hmm. be 50 kg. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes a week out, it can be something mm -hmm. 46 or 47. Mm -hmm. What can be the issue in, in, in that? Well, two issues there. One, na. We own personal mortal man, your own wickedness. And two, now because we not get a metrification system. So it, this year, by God power, through the Sahelian Standards Bureau, we go roll out the metrification system. Example, Usman and Musa. Where you go buy beef, eh? then they put another scale, not to so. You say, I want one pound beef, not to so. Now, where will be the go, we'll go buy pepper? Now the pepper cup no more. And that pepper cup, the old man get young cup. But what in the metrification they do, is they change the weights and measures to one standard measure. For the rest them, where you buy the rest from the wholesaler, say the transporter, the carry and go, we get people away the bus bag. Even the one that we tow them for load them, we get people away the bus bag. Even oh. motor car then they, then they go broke down, middle of the road, Nanette. Then say, I get broke down, go with the carry rest go line, with the meet the don't bus bus them. We they catch them. But to the final um, um, possible way to go by, and so you need a need for get scale. If you watch now, most of the shops them would all roll out some scales them. So where you go buy you rest, you 50 kg, you know, say, I'm not sure, put and they, let them wear them, so you know. But traditionally, even where we people, they're not being get that scale day, then they know, say, now 180 cup, they come up at one bag. And that's true where you they talk, say, some bad people them, they cut up and the rest. We they can look at more standard and quality because don't they get plenty of concerns from salon standards bureau on quality and standards of products them where people they buy now the market. But um I, I come with you again on the issue of price control. We they slowly go or fast go into the Ramadan. You go be amazed for see how things then they go up rapidly. You talk about warning the people for making them different from that. What thing that blows them in place? For somebody where they increase price, because then trader yourself where they sell and buy cup will tell you see the bag now so it don't go up, and these people where they sell and buy bag now big importers, how then they increase price so fast because demand are high. So we they encourage people them um, follow we all be patriotic, but we as a ministry get responsibility, so we don't agree on several pricing formulas and prices with all we major importers them and the one the way they manufacture on certain commodities so we they make them price then they available we they tell people that who side for go for go get them those public notices will be going out pretty soon secondly we also they say to people them that no panic buy for us we get enough rest stay past october for vegetable oil, we get enough oil. For yabas, we get enough yabas. Even sugar price don't can down. They want to always be the one for sugar. Sugar don't can down. But you could be amazed in the run to 
um, celebrate or days like Ramadan or calendar like Ramadan, let them tear go up quickly. Because speculation they happen, panic buying they come, people they rush. Again, like I said, now demand and supply they, they affect the price. That eve before the ma for before the markets, the world man they come for come buy for celebrates. Believe you me, that person where they do business. He like who's kind talk who talk. He want make your small thing pant up. But we go continue for talk for say, let we not kill we we own people them. Let we not profit here inside one day. Let we show reasonability and an understanding that you go still make profit. And once you make her in the correct way, God go bless you. Continue for the with we, Emmanuel Conjo from the Minister, Minister of Trade. The program is still listening to on a good morning salon and it come to you live from the Society for Radio Democracy 98.1 FM. Still inside the studios, we get Emmanuel Conjo in uh, the acting chief director in uh, the Ministry of Trade and Industry. Now, um, Mr. Conjo, we don't, we don't talk about um, several things there. Now, let's look at um, the new company them. We don't come on board. We they produce different in them. For the past two years, almost uh, the total amount of the, the company that we don't get. Okay. Um, well, the ministry, you know, say the ministry of trade and industry. So don't talk about trade. Now we'll talk a little bit about industry now. Um, we beginning, let's tell the public, say so we don't review we national trade strategy. And by that trade strategy, the one of the pillar the way we get now industrialization. So waiting we done the do over the past period now for ensure say we also give you industrial policy and we special economic zone policy. But before we they do that one day, we continue for work very closely with we own domestic um, operators them for see how we can improve and expand on the light manufacturing base. So in the past two years we don't <coughs> sign over nine agreements them whether established companies then are and companies then some of them don't do go into active first phase of them production. So right across various sectors then. So we get most of them they in the food and beverage sector. So you go get the Jolax, you go get the Kisi industry, you go get King's production, you go get King's beverage. So um, two of the one and they were just mentioned. So then they do in vegetable oil and they do uh, margarine as the case may be. Um, the other one they will talk about, then they do several um, canned drinks them. So you can, see, you know, see like the one we start with mega cola, now don't go into a whole canning process. Where then they can Coke, then they can Sprite, then they can Fanta and other kind of soft drink them. We get the King's Production, we then the Kadat Food Group, we also they do various things there with the Bravely Water and all. We get several other companies that we don't come into the water business. We get one that where they do um, into the construction sector where they do roofing sheets, where they do nails them. We own brother Jalo, then they do nails, then they do roofing sheets, then they do tissue papers, tissue boxes, and all of them kind of thing. And they, so across the sector, we also get people that we don't go into the um, into producing um, oil and all um, um, well lubricants for cars, the APP them, and the likes of the one and they. So we get several of the new company then the way they come. But wait till we they focus on now, how we forget them to scale, how we for increase them productive capacity. Some of them already don't go into phase two production. So if you look at waiting Sockfin, don't do Sockfin, get the largest um, production plant now in West Africa in terms of palm kernel. And then they do fantastically well. This, <coughs> most of them productions where they talk about mm -hmm. Now for salon market or now then the export amount of salon like the soft skin we just make mention of. So the priority is to meet domestic needs and once that is done you able for export. And wait till we they push them and wait then they enjoy currently now what we call the ECOWAS trade liberalization scheme when a preferential trade um arrangement we take them to a market of three hundred and fifty million people now the ECOWAS countries when are 15 nations there. So most of them, they export to other countries outside of Sahelion. Then companies, them, we don't mention where they do production. What's in the scale of production as it is now? 
large scale production. I mean, these people are creating hundreds and hundreds of jobs. Um, then they meet the domestic markets, then they export to, to third countries, to fourth countries, to fifth countries, as the case may be. And um, we, we they see, say, the numbers, then they go. Even some of them want for increase, because as you now know, um, from the 1st of January, we don't come into what we call the Africa Free Continental Trade Agreement. We're in a, a free trade area where Africa don't become. And it opened the markets to 1.3 billion people. So Sierra Leone has been the 21st country for submitting instruments of ratification to the AU. And we don't domesticate in this country. And now we are trading with Africa. And Sierra Leone are part of that trading block. Today. Trading with Africa in mm. terms of uh, industries. Mm. What in the infrastructure, I mean the trade infrastructure in a saloon for able to match the demand here of the agreement the way they talk about now so and for sure see the companies the way don't talk see they produce able sustain. So um the trade infrastructure they in, in different ways. So now let Fambula also understand so where you they trade, you they trade in goods and you they trade in services. All right. So we if we talk on the on the good side. We get in the way we they get component parts them from various other countries the way we they able for assemble naya we they able for take f um, finished product then go to other parts of the of the world so most of we fish the way they come here and they go to senegal and they go can them and then senegal re-export them so now we also the builder facility there for make sure say we're able for do that one day um like i say we're not able for trade or do business by ourselves. nobody's an island but what in now and they don't do is they improve and in, increase the integration in Africa. Trading among Africa by itself now only 15%. We all trade with different people. When you talk small and more, hey, I want to send Tingo America. Hey, I want to send Tingo Europe. Hey, I want to send Tingo China. So the, the narrative has changed. Say, we get markets now. We get people that we need. I'll give you an example, Usman. I mean, Lagos alone is 22 million people. If, then they eat gari every day, and gari comes from cassava. We they grow cassava in year, 12 months a year. So if we're able to tap into that market alone, as part of the cassava value chain, you're seeing the, the dividend. So rather than you, the things say, like, and go far, far away in America or far, far away in England, Lagos is just next to you. I mean, if you go to Kanu, Kanu is 25 million people. I'm just telling you about Nigeria mm -hmm. alone. If you want to go to Cairo, to Egypt, Egypt, Cairo gets close to 30 million people. But go with them, they need uh, transportation. This is the infrastructure that they talk about. So the infrastructure is built. I mean, if, Musa, if you want something, you do get them. And the people, and they move things around. We change when ship not they come. We begin to put steam in a, in a plane for bring them. We plus us where we care go. Every week we move over 1.5 tons of plasas to England. Now plane the care and go. The infrastructure is there. If the demand and if the products are available, that plane with the pass pass empty, they look for side for Kantika. Now post in the pay. And that's trade and that's the services. So yes, you may think that there are inhibiting factors, but again it's because that we're not able for bring it to the value. We go attract people and for come. Once you get them. People and they come. Okay. Now, um, Mr. Conjo, the, the, the company then presently will get, um, like the company where they produce oil, you know, how, you know, um, they don't impact the, 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 the price in a saloon in terms of, because firstly, we mean the import oil can of the country, and now we don't get um, company that where they produce oil in a saloon. So how that don't bring change? So significantly, we don't reduce the importation by over <coughs> 70% for oil vegetable oil number two we are able for stabilize that price there because the cost we've been the will be the income for go fend dollar for go buy oil and bring and kind add that uh, no day again so now you the see say you get even various segments of the market you get the one and one gallon you get the two and a half gallon you get the five gallon so you they cater for a wide range of people and the good news is that even the last village able for access this product. And not only that, now with the see we are made in Sierra Leone brand in other countries and in other markets. So it has impacted significantly. Okay, continue for the with we Manuel Conjo from the Minister of Trade in the acting chief director.
The program is still listening to a good morning salon with the country from the society for the democracy 98.1 FM. If you just the January to the edition of the program, we did talk to the chief, the acting chief director and minister of trade and industry, Manuel Conjo. We did talk about what the ministry don't do for SECA, the availability of commodities and the price them not the market. And if you just the January, you can drop your comment on the number 077 981 or go on our Facebook page and drop your comment today. We will bring you this edition of the program. Good morning, Salon. Musa is Kamana Minim. And Mina Usman Kamara. We will go for a short music break. We can continue the program. Good morning, Salon. Control plenty. Thank you to Jungle Leaders, them for the music day inside the program. The program is still listening to. Now, good morning, Salom. Um, still inside the studios, we get Emmanuel Conjo in uh, the acting chief director at uh, the Ministry of uh, Trade and Industry. Now, Mr. Conjo, we don't highlight uh, several things, them we um, the ministry don't do. So, what's in uh, the way forward now in terms of um, prize issue then, uh, Salom? Well, the way forward now for ensure say we, as a ministry, we want for build back from COVID. We want for ensure say we do the thing that we go and make sure say we not find ourselves in the situation where we've been there before. So with a focus on industrialization, industrialization in the sense that with the build we manufacture in base, so that we go able for the produce as many things them as we need as a country and as people the way we want. Um, God bless you with plenty, plenty resources. We need for translate the resources then they into final product them. We go continue for help with people them. So as you know, so we don't launch the Munafa Fund. We now access to finance we don't create for with small and medium enterprises. The first set now 26.7 billion we don't give out um, to 10 F FSP financial service providers, the way they give out their money, uh, loans between five and ten million, and then for repay back by with nine percent. So we want we people and for turn on. We want we people and for they at that position for able for create jobs. And once then able for do that, the economy of itself go turn. The economy of itself go move. So we continue for ensure say we adhere to all we regulations and protocols the way we don't sign up to as a country and as a as a ministry of trade with ECOWAS, with MRU, with African Union, with EU, with 
the Chinese, with the UK governments, with the Americans, with the um, Russians, we they continue for look for new fields. Them, um, interestingly, we the CSA because of we good work we don't they do, we ease of doing business ranking and all the structures that we don't put in place. So I learned them become a very attractive investment destination. Mm -hmm. So every time we get people there where they come, where they ask and want for can do something in a salon. So we continue for make sure say that environment they enabling is fine for let a people, anybody we want come for can do business, as long as you they do business in the correct way within the laws of Sierra Leone, you're able for can do business. And that business they go create job and it go create gentry for people. Then. But before I done on this note, I just want to say that now we desire that Sierra Leoneans themselves go take responsibility of we own economy. So now that government they do, and that the Ministry of Trade they do, we they empower we young people them, we they support them, we they strengthen them so we go take responsibility of the economy. All right. Now, um, Mr. Konjo, most of the thing them, we salon, they produce like um, 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 pamine, you know, pepper. One thing we people on the sea, we make sometimes, you know, thinking, shorting because of people who smuggle and go other country. So how on do they work towards that for CSA? Um, people they go through the right channel for um, care some of them to go to other country. Well, um, we always do work not in isolation, but as an apparatus, a state apparatus. So for you able for export until you get for go through the borders, through the ports there, not to so, and you get for get the right certification. Somebody get for don't test them for no say this product good for let the export them and let go to another country. So all of them thing and they will they do. But we all know say really and truly, um, smuggling they happen because the person no reveal them, he no show them, he no tell government about them. And what to make them they do so because they no want for pay tax, they want for evade all the costs them or fees them or charges the way government forget. So we continue for work with the police, we continue for work with NRA, we continue for work with Standards Bureau and all the other apparatus say, for make we ensure say, that we monitor their movement here of with goods and services. Not a crime for let you care goods and services go na the MRU country or the ECOWAS country or another country. It's China. just that you get for do the proper way. You talk about working with partners. One concern we don't come up from standards bureau in particular na the standard and quality of products them we really come na the salon market, especially the building materials. One thing we don't raise concern but now the quality of higher road in particular, we according to them now one we know standard. Waiting Minister of Trade do for ensure quality of things them way they come into salon. So standards be run are one of the agency under the Ministry of Trade and Industry. And then are the competent authority for certify quality and standard of any product with the Canaya. So standards be run are the responsibility for ensure say every product in terms of iron road where you they talk about, mm -hmm. say they come for let them run the test. Except again, we go back to the question of like what you said and smuggle them. People they smuggle thing they win a substandard no, product. No, no, I mean Iron Rod, where they come through, we keep them. We get in any way Iron Rod, they come salon through smuggle means in large quantity. Non Iron Rod, no, they come through the key, where standards be road, did they, where they test them. But what or we, we, no, no, so I'll tell you how it works, Musa. So what in the happen Musa, when, when concerns like this, they come up from standards bureau in particular? So Musa, let me tell you how it works. At the key, you get standards bureau. Hmm? And standards bureau get the mandate for go, I not, I not, me not read that concern they come to me as chief director under the Ministry of Trade, where then they report to me directly or, or through to me to the minister. I don't get that one day yet. But I tell you now, and I tell the general public, the standards be holding at the ports, they then at the border post them for check we good them. Even if they come through, then get the mandate, then get the right for go na the depot or the warehouses who side them they and for test. And if the public bring them out, say this is their concern, then say I go buy from Musa trading store. This iron rod will buy as a ben and so it broke. Then bring and come to with standards bureau get the mandate by law. For go check that product today, and if it's substandard, then go confiscate them, and then get certain things they will do. Standards bureau, they are all the crossing points. Then, 
standards be holding at all the border ports post them. Now we look at the issue of um, again when we they get pamai fish in large quantity they left saloon for overseas and mm. one um, business person this BNTMO we talked to raised serious concern about red flagging saloon flag because then they put chemical inside where they make equality you know they reach that standard we dangerous and even the fish and locally self we get issues like then they put Kool-Aid or Kaya pepper and they put cola and Kaya pepper all in concern there also what is the role of the Minister of Trade for ensure say things of this type where they left saloon they in very good quality and also within the market so the Ministry of Trade and Industry now, in the National Notification Authority, where they represent the government of Sierra Leone and the World Trade Organization. So we get alert systems and alert mechanisms. So inside the ministry, again, we get who that we call competent authorities. And across government, we get what we call the inquiry point and then competent authority are where they check. So I want for let public, the public know, say, we not get none case where Salon don't be blacklisted Say we per mind we go now this problem. We get an interview on that. Um Musa we an importer M Musa, Musa Musa if one importer then they look salon as importer Usman. If one per mind go EU, then fancy the aflatoxin or the other substance the way they not edible, we good for it. Because you get two kinds per mind where they go, you get one for manufacturing you get one for it if they find out say the one for it no good then they notify the ministry of trade and industry wto ministry of trade and industry then they ban salon and they no ban will no so i'm not receive any complaint like that i'm just telling you how the process works in trade that is caught we call governance the world trade organization na the na the world policeman at that day than they do then go tell we say salo we don't ban you because the permit where you can go na Russia or where you can go na Holland or where you can go na this is no good. We self don't test them. Now I know they say you know they happen domestically, but anyone we want for go we get several institutions then. So not only the Ministry of Trade, the Ministry of Trade gets two institutions where they check where they certify. You get standards bureau, you get produce monitoring board. But outside of that, you get the food and, and, and um, um, agency under Ministry of, 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 of Health. You get the Ministry of Agriculture. So all the issues I will mention, Ministry of Agriculture, all the issues I will mention too, I will to call SPS issues, sanitary and phytosanitary issues. So even before you, you produce the, the permine, you process them. We they show you what you for do so that the end products no go get problem. So even all entire Ministry of Agriculture they help. Even all entire Ministry of Trade they help. Because if one per mine go, a salon then the ban. Not to that important when ne Usman or when a Musa, a salon then the ban. So we are taking all the necessary measures. And tell God thank you. No sign no day. We they carry plenty per mine go and make her. We we'll care plenty so, per mango you so, so saying it's happening locally, what do they do now for Takula locally? Uh, Musa, we will continue for talk to people. So if that if we know who's it happen, the police go apprehend, then go arrest. But that person we go buy in per mine. He thinks say will make more money. He turn the per mine after he take ink, he mix her with her. Ebo. Now bad did they do. Na salon money one kill, na salon money one bug. So the law go taking cause once we know. But nobody know the export on scale to other country where we know they test their product, we know they certify them, say it good for let it go. Then it go. Okay, continue for the week we inside the program, Emmanuel Conjure. The program na good morning salon where the country from 98.1 FM. The program is still listening to a good morning salon where they can to you from the Society for Radio Democracy 98.1 FM. People don't send text message them on the 077 and also on the Facebook page. And attempt now make we take the messages them. Usman? 
Um, this one say people stop saying dollars has no business with the price of pepper. If all other customers' price increase, how can the pepper seller cope with the increase without increasing their prices? On I explain by we deeper pay attention. Mind you, we save the use fertilizer and fertilizer na come with come with them. This one from David Turena on Facebook page. They say commodity in Sierra Leone would be difficult to adjust. What significant reasons is transportation, supplements of materials to farmers, lack of maintenance, storage facility, or warehouse are the problems? This other one say monopolize for our marketing product is key factor for prices. Our marketing needs to be open for everyone to import goods so that our marketing price will be less and lesser. This one from Roland Karim on our Facebook page, they say control what goes on at the customs <coughs> to get grip on price increase on imported goods. The, uh, the port of Freetown could be the major solution for measuring r price control. This one say why does it take so much long to implement the metrification system guidelines and good trade standards? I can recall this issue was raised and promised to be implemented by the Fair Trading Standards Regulatory Body in an interview done in the mainstream media a year ago. Almost if authorities related can implement more support in the Koinadugu district to develop their agricultural sector. This one from Max Jalon on our Facebook page, they say, with all this government terminology, our people hasn't seen nothing yet. Good, good, but suffering. Importers don't buy containers. They rented it. When it arrives in Sierra Leone, they exchange the container, containers. Our problem in Sierra Leone is the high taxes. Um, this one say we are tired of listening to the same stories. A cultural issue in Sierra Leone needs less policies and analysis but summarize policies, higher implementation, and monitoring process. The last one from me for now, because of time from ABZ comes, they say, please let him know that the price for bags of rice is 250,000 to 360,000 leons. That are the last text message from me for now, because of time. All right, Mr. Konjo, you don't hear some of the um, concerns the way people are on our Facebook page and other platform them. Um, thank you very much. Um, texters, um, all the one they will contribute to the program. Generally, I mean, because we all get interest for Sierra Leone and for once let Sierra Leone economy go. And some of you now don't give beautiful suggestions and, and recommendations the way to we for do, we don't take them on board. Some of you now don't ask Sierra we work with we other government entities them, you know, don't talk about the ports, you know, don't talk about NRA and all. We don't listen to the all. Um, we in the Ministry of Trade and Industry will continue to engage with the private sector, the people them. Indeed, yes, now rent, then they rent the container, but the, that rentage, now when they talk about freight charge, the cost don't increase. And then they know to secret, if you go online today, now you phone or now your computer or you ask any businessman who they feel for, he go tell you, say, now that don't happen. Um, the other person in the talk, but say, what do we do with the, the ports? We continue for engage with all the concessionaires, all the port operators, them. Uh, we don't get two meetings over the past two weeks with them. For now, we see how we go continue for further, for streamline the processes, them, so that we go save on cost and on time. All right. This, this, this one we come out from Mystic, and that was that quickly. He say Emmanuel Conjo, in the area of price control, it will be difficult because the monitoring aspect is uh, the biggest challenges. Secondly, we need to own state enterprise of our markets in the of our market, and most of these enterprises are in the hands of foreigners. Uh, Mystic, we be don't move away from that. Uh, thank you for your message, as always. Um, the issue is we policy now as government. We take a free market ap approach. Well, we open the space. We not get no monopoly. Anybody we want can do business. Can come. Come compete. Come do things freely. Um, we don't try in the past where we've been getting state-owned enterprises. We see, say, poor management, then fail. So government's pull and pump business because we were criticized or government was criticized that government knows how to do business. So government pull and pump business. Elephant to the one that was able to do business. But again, um, your suggestion is noted, 
we go look some term, not to power all side, we for Poland, we for look on certain sector where we go see what we can do inside there, and we go we go review them. All right, plenty. Thank you for joining me inside the program this uh, Friday morning. Um, uh, in name na Emmanuel Konjo and in the acting chief director na the Ministry of Trade and Industry. Well, now you go to the cutting door of the program. Good morning, Salon. Welcome to you live from Radio Democracy 98.1 FM. Plenty thank you to we producer them, Alex Lawrence Kuma and Michael Sambola. Plenty thank you to DJ Cliff Wiggy, technical support, and Moses Kavora. We make on a series live on Facebook. So till we meet another time, we will bring this edition to you this morning. My name is Usman Kamara. And uh, me, Namusa S. Kamara, say a happy good Friday to all of you listeners. Then. Um,